Good evening, everybody. My name is Cami Tadoldi, and I am the K-12 Director of Music for the Foxborough Public Schools. And I also am one of the teachers here of the fifth grade orchestra, along with uh, Mr. Glynn, who you'll meet in a minute. Before we get started, I just want to go over some house rules, just to make sure that our students on stage here have a really great performance. Um, they worked so hard, and we want to make sure that they can have a great performance. Um, and we also want to make sure that you can enjoy the performance with us. Um, so a couple things, let's make sure those cell phones are off. Um, that would be fantastic. Secondly, um, Foxborough Cable Access is actually live streaming this tonight and videoing it. So it will be forever on the internet for eternity uh, for you to view as many times as you would like. If you'd like to show it at that holiday party or send it across the world to whoever would like to see it. Um, but it also allows you all to be present this evening, so you don't need to watch the concert through your phones. We want you to be in the house and enjoy all of their work. And lastly, if you need to leave the auditorium at any point in time, there are exits beside you and on either side. There are bathrooms um, down that way and there's some bathrooms over here, but we do ask that you do it between songs, um, just to minimize any movement in the house. And if you have any uh, younger people in the audience who may need a break, or they're having trouble sitting for a long period of time, you're welcome to take them out in the back of the hallway or sort of out here to give them a little bit of a movement break and then bring them back in when they're settled and in between a song. All right. So with that, we're going to start in just a moment. Thank you so much. Uh, before I introduce my colleague, Mr. Glynn, uh, it's important for you to know that what's happening on stage doesn't just happen magically. Um, music is a academic subject and orchestra is a skill. So we've been teaching them throughout the year, um, essentially how to start from nothing and to where they are today. So I know I met all of you in September, so excited on the instrument pickup night. And I promised you that I would teach them everything that they needed to know. And um, I think we're doing a pretty good job of that. And I absolutely love working with your children every single day. They are fantastic humans. And I thank you for allowing us to teach them. And I also thank you for encouraging to them to play. And I also hope that you will encourage them to stick with it. Um, and throughout the evening, you'll hear us talk maybe a little bit more about what we're learning. But um, in the meantime, sit back and enjoy, and please welcome Mr. Glynn to the stage.
so a few things we're learning while you uh, see this all happening. Um, we, we see the, the coordination, so the fine and gross motor skills that go with this. We're also training their ears. So if you notice, unlike a band instrument, these string instruments don't have any buttons. So we have to train them, their ears, to learn where their fingers go. So that's pitch matching um, and learning what, how to, to really adjust when we hear that things aren't going the right way. So you're hearing that we're all doing everything in unison um, and at the same time. That's part of our natural progression. And when you hear us later in the school year, you're going to start to hear us play in different parts. But we have to learn to walk before we run. There's a natural progression to that. Um, they have to learn how to work together as an ensemble. This is a team where everybody's voice and participation counts. Um, and that's really cool, really important. It's just kind of similar to an athletic team where we all work together to produce a product, which in the product is what you're seeing tonight. Um, the nice thing about this team is that all genders get to be on the same team, which we really think is pretty cool. Um, and lastly, we teach them to be creative artists. So music inspires and sparks that creative thinking part of the brain, um, which maybe some other subjects don't hit as much. So this provides the students with a really well-rounded education here at the Ahern Middle School, and we think they're pretty, getting a pretty good, well-rounded re education. And it's truly amazing that they get to have this happen during the school day and three times a week. And I'll tell you right now that that is not the norm across the state and even the country. So you are in a great place here in Foxborough, so thank you for supporting that. And we're really, really lucky to have that here in town. So um, that's thanks to you, uh, the people who live here in this town and vote and make the choices. So thank you for supporting Foxborough and for supporting your students here on stage. And I think you deserve a round of applause. Let's give them a little shuffle. When they shuffle their feet, that's their way of clapping because their hands are filled with instruments. So whenever you see that and you go to a concert, that's, that's the musician clap. All right, we're going to keep going. This is Mr. Glenn. This next song we're gonna do for you twice. I promise you um, that later in their career, ooh, I almost fell off the stage. That would have made for a really good TikTok or something. Um, <laughs> but yeah, we're gonna play it once, and then we're actually gonna play it twice, but we're gonna play it around. So it's gonna be our first, part, first time playing in two parts. So that's part of that walk before we run progression. So you'll hear, you're gonna hear this twice. 
Here we go. Thank you. And before we play our final two songs, um, our next one is Ode to Joy. Um, and if you ever need anything, have any questions about your student's progress or whatever, questions about the middle school, high school, happy to help. Um, please reach out to me, Cami Todoldi. You can find my email right on the website, and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you again. And with Ode to Joy, we hope that this brings you joy this holiday season from us to you. All right, our last song is going to feature our bass players, uh, Naraya and Greta, and they're going to start us off. But first, we need some help from you. And I know because your kids have rhythm, they must have got it from someone out there. So can you join me here? You can do it. There it is. See? I know who you got it from. Oh, let's stay together here. Don't speed up. There it is. A one. A two, the bass is two, ready, go.
We're going to do a quick set change. Our chorus is going to come out in just a moment. And at the end of the concert, we're going to ask that you leave quickly. <laughs> we already told the kids. We were like, get, hurry up, get out. Um, because we got to get the band in here as well. We just couldn't fit everybody in this space at the same time. And we also wanted to make sure everyone had a little bit of seat room to move. Um, so we're just going to ask that when this is over, you exit. And of course, if you have a child in the band, please stay. And then the rest of you, you may go home and do what you need to do. All right. You have nothing to do, right? This is not a busy time of year. Okay, that's what I thought. All right, enough with the jokes. Here comes the fifth grade chorus. Come on on out. Um, I am Mrs. Webb. I'm the fifth and sixth grade chorus teacher here. Um, what you just heard was Yubi Latte Deo. It was a round um, in five parts, which is actually very impressive for this age group. Um, so in fifth grade chorus, some of the main things that we're working on are accessing that higher range. So this song is really great for that. Um, musical independence or tonal independence, being able to hold down your own part while lots of stuff is going on around you. As you could tell, that's exactly what they were able to do. Um, for this next song, the focus was on storytelling because why have music if you're not going to tell a, me a message, right? So this is called The Ghost Ship. Please enjoy.
Man, I love working with these guys. Um, all right, so our last song today is a song called Al Shlosha Devarim. It's a song in Hebrew. One of the things that um, I think is super important is um, in chorus we have words. So I would like to expose them to as many languages as possible. Um, so for now it's Hebrew. And the translation is the world is sustained by three things, by truth, by justice, and by peace. Um, a few other things that we work on are our tall vowels, um, our blended sound, um, and this also has a story to tell as well. In the beginning, you'll hear from a few soloists, and they'll walk down. Do you see where the microphone is? It's going to be there. I'll move it for you. Don't worry. Uh, a few soloists in the beginning. We have uh, Ella, Peter, Jolie, Greta, Evie, and Jaylani. We hope you enjoy. Thank you so much.
much. My name is Miss Greenleaf, and this is the fifth grade band. We are just so happy that you are here tonight. We've been working crazy hard to learn these weird pieces of metal and wood and plastic and create music out of them. Perhaps you remember, <laughs> parents and friends, the sounds that were coming out of our instruments when we first started a few months ago. And now we've got to the point where we're playing full songs um, that are kind of recognizable. And we've learned how to hold our instruments, how to take care of our instruments. And we've also learned um, a little bit about what a band is. And we're going to share some of that information with you. So maybe you don't know what instruments are in a band. And we're going to teach you today by our next song, which is called Listen to Our Sections. So unlike the string orchestra that you may have seen earlier, the band is unique because they actually have very different instruments in the ensemble that create you know, completely different sounds. We actually have three different sections of instruments in this um, band. The first group of instruments is called the woodwind family. Woodwind instruments, can you show them your instruments? This includes the flute, the clarinet, and the saxophone. The woodwind family is um, usually played um, with a reed, like a saxophone or clarinet, even though the flute does not have a reed. In the olden days, the flute was made out of wood, which is why it is a woodwind instrument. The second family in the, in the band is the brass family. You may notice the brass family is um, a very similar colors. They're all made out of brass. And they all use a mouthpiece that um, buzzes that creates a sound. Thank you, brass friends. And last, but definitely not least, and in the back, and totally in the dark, and I feel terrible, is our percussion family. Hello back there. Our percussion family um, actually consists of currently both xylophone and bell set, and will begin to expand into some other percussion instruments like drums, triangle, shaker, as we progress. This song actually gives each section a chance to play on their own, um, so we hope you enjoy Listen to Our Sections. As we keep going in our concert, you'll hear some of our different sections having slightly different musical parts, and that's uh, definitely a, a cool and a tricky thing about learning how to play in a band. It's very similar to learning how to be on a team. We're all a team members. So we're going to keep on going with our next song is London Bridge, a familiar melody, but this song actually is split into two separate parts called a duet. So we'll have some students play one part of the song and some play students play the other. And I'm actually going to choose right now.
Thank you. Great. The next song we play for you is a, a familiar song known um, probably to you as Twinkle Twinkle Little Star, but it's actually a famous song written by a, a very popular composer named Mozart. This is a Mozart melody. holiday celebration, we've got Jingle Bells and My Dreidel. Um, both of these songs are a little bit longer, and they finally have started to incorporate volume into the music, so we spend a lot of time trying to be able to adjust our air or our wrists back there in the percussion to see if we can produce different volumes. So maybe you'll hear a little of that in our next two songs, Jingle Bells and My Dreidel. things them um, I think maybe we don't think about when playing in a musical ensemble is the idea of playing at the same time in the same speed and that's very tricky actually um, because each student like has their own ability their own speed in their brain and the way the song goes and and it takes a lot of ef effort and energy to play together um, and that's something we work on a lot um, and feeling time in our bodies and how we can create in a create the same time across the ensemble. It's pretty fascinating. The, that actually has a lot to do with our next song. Um, it's called Frere Jaca. It's a common round. A round is when we, oh, did I skip one? Oh, thanks, Lou, what did I do? <gasps> I skipped, skipped to my Lou, what a, oh, just so classic. Okay, thank you, thank you, friends. Great, I was so excited for Frere Jaca. Um, we're gonna do one before Frere Jaca. It's called Skip to my Lou. Skip to my Lou incorporates some faster eighth notes into our playing. It's a really popular, cute American song, and I hope you enjoy. Skip to my Lou, and I'll come back to the Frere Jaca thing. We didn't skip that one. I do love that. Anyway, thank you so much. So Frere Jaca is um, a part where 
a round. A round is a style of music where one group of musicians would start the song and the next group of musicians would start the same song a couple of measures later and it creates a kind of a cool sound. You may have heard this before, like if somebody starts singing row, row, row your boat, somebody else starts singing row, row, row your boat, we create something called a musical round. Um, at this point, I'd like to bring up my colleague and my co-teacher and uh, my helper for sure, for sure, with this many students. And we're so lucky to have two teachers here um, for the fifth grade band. Um, this is Mr. Albro, and he's going to conduct uh, Frere Rochelle.
All right. We save our favorite two. Well, are there our favorite two songs? Yeah. Okay. We've saved our favorite two songs for last, um, and um, uh, we've got one is called Hard Rock Blues, which um, is a kind of a blues rock feel, and the other one is Power Rock, which is a medley of two very popular Queen songs. Um, the songs, of course, We Will, We Will Rock You, and uh, Another One Bites the Dust, actually. Um, before we perform our last two songs, I'd like to thank you again for coming out. I know night concerts and scheduling can be challenging, but concerts are such an important part of learning an instrument and being able to show everything we've learned. We've really been working hard, and it's just so nice to be able to share that with you. Um, we encourage students to play at home and maybe put on a little holiday concert this next week. The more they play, the better they get. And as we progress, we'll have more and more music for them to play. Um, and it, you know, it's always good to encourage them to play at home. I think it'll only get better sounding from here. So that's good news for you. Um, <laughs> so we'd like to uh, play for you our last two songs. And we're super lucky to have Mr. Albro back there rocking out on the drum set. Um, and I'd like to thank you again for coming. This is Hard Rock Blues and Power Rock. I should say this piece, actually our last piece, is the only piece of music that's not in our Essential Elements book. It's like a, it's actually a piece of sheet music. So it's about 50 measures long and uh, it's a kind of, oh, thanks. Uh, and it, it's a kind of a different experience to play off of something outside of the book, you know, and, and it's something, a longer song. You all set? And uh, the other thing I'd like to say is if you'd like to stomp and clap along, you are more than welcome to.